Hello, I'm Trisha from realfluencynow.com and today you will learn some phrasal verbs that use the word fit. If you haven't already done it, then please subscribe and click the bell. And if you want to learn more English from me, then click the link up here or in the description of this video to find out how. Now don't get impatient and leave because I'm going to review definitions of the word fit first. I bet you don't know them all. And then I'll talk about the phrasal verbs. It will help you to understand them better. Fit can be used as a noun, verb, or adjective. First, I'll show you how it's used as an adjective. As an adjective, it can mean to be physically healthy or strong. For example, if you eat healthy and exercise, you will stay fit. Or if you want to be successful, you should stay fit so that you have the energy you need to work hard. It has a similar meaning to stay in shape. For example, you could also say you need to exercise and stay healthy if you want to stay in shape. And it's related to the noun fitness, which is the condition of being healthy and strong. Physical fitness is important if you want to live a long life. As an adjective, it can also mean for something to be proper or okay for something. For example, this water isn't fit to drink. Ew! That means it's terrible, it tastes bad, or maybe isn't even clean enough to drink. As a verb, it means for something to be the right size or be appropriate for something you probably already know this definition. For example, this hat doesn't fit, it's way too big. As a noun, it means the way something fits, as in it's a tight fit, but I think I can squeeze through this tunnel. Or, and you may not know this one, it can mean to be out of control with a strong emotion. For example, he said some mean things in a fit of anger last night. Now for phrasal verbs, there's one really important phrasal verb with fit, and most of the rest of them are sort of related. And this is fit in. It can mean more literally for something to fit, as in, my hand doesn't fit into this glove. But more importantly, it means to be able to live, work, or spend time with people without fighting or arguing with them. It's similar meaning to get along. Some sample sentences are, when going to a party, it is important to fit in or you won't have fun. I'll talk about this again in another video, but if you are working at a job with native English speakers, the better your English is and the better you understand the culture of the country they are from, the better you will fit in with the people you work with. It can also mean to find time for something. For example, I'm really busy and I don't always have time to fit everything into my schedule like I want to. Now fit in with and fit into mean nearly the same thing. For example, I didn't fit in with anyone at that job so I quit. Or that won't fit into my schedule today. Or I can't fit that into my schedule. Fit out. This one you won't hear as much but it means to give or provide something that is needed. For example, we need to fit out the car for a long drive. Now, I think many of you don't like learning idioms as much as phrasal verbs, but from what I've seen on the English placement test I made, people do worse with the idioms than they do the phrasal verbs. So be sure to watch next week's video, which will be about idioms that use the word fit. And if you are serious about learning English and would like to learn more from me, you can start by going to this page and you will see a link to that English placement test that I made and I highly recommend that you take. There are also links there to find me on other social media sites. Goodbye and remember, with hope, anything is possible.